version of my Art and Bacon Spaces project. And what we've done here is we brought four artists into the space for one night with a local DJ. They're all local regional artists. And we're doing a one night show to help bring awareness, help bring awareness into this that village arts district. And what I hope to do in the future is take care of these projects that will come into a vacant space, bring art, art enthusiasts, and uh, move on to the next. I'm one of the four artists in this show, curated by, by Charlotte Sundquist. Uh, this is my work, and um, I have something of a love affair with materials in my work. Um, a lot of unorthodox art materials, including concrete, copper powders, uh, rust, salt, dirt, earth, and uh, sand. and my work is called Modern Forest Collection. We have a piece here, it's called Roses Are Red. The work is inspired by a parasitic plant found in the East Texas and Alabama area. It's pretty much a stringer. It gets a hold to well-established trees in the area and it strings the life of the trees. So I go in and I remove the plant from the trees and I chop it in different parts and pieces and then piece everything back together like a, pretty much like a large jigsaw puzzle. and I'm here at the Fat Village Arts District, uh, brought to you by uh, Charlotte Sunquist and the Arts Arts Productions. Um, tonight I'm here with an exhibit of some of my latest uh, artwork from the Nautilus series. This is uh, Nautilus Progenies. Steven Sylvester. I'm a South Florida contemporary clay artist and what we're looking at is a mixed media piece that I call chicken noodle. The upper bodice part is fired ceramic. Uh, there is a single egg in the center and clay fashion to, to look like noodles. The skirt is gold painted chicken wire with soup spoons and chicken feathers and that's my take on chicken noodle. <laughs> 